Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the CSV file in the format that you can use for the CSV to zip uh, bot flow app. So the first thing that I want to point out here is that there is something called the pre-built small talk agent in Dialogflow and uh, you can import that agent from the uh, pre-built agents tab over here. So what I've done is I've already done that into this agent I have called as uh, small talk. And I'm going to use this as an example. So what we are going to do is we are going to build a very tiny version of the Smalltalk agent using the CSV file. And uh, then you will uh, eventually will use that CSV file to create a agent zip file. And then that agent zip file will be used to create an actual dialogue flow agent. So what I have done is I've created a list of phrases that I'm, uh, I want to use with the appropriate intent names. So the first thing I want to uh, do is create an intent called smalltalk.agent.acquaintance and the question that it will respond to is who are you and the answer it will provide is I am a virtual agent. And then I want to create another intent called uh, smalltalk.agent.boring and here the query is just a single phrase. It's a you, you are boring will be the only phrase that it can handle but it can provide one of three different responses. It will say, I'm sorry, I'll request to be more charming or the other two. And then you have another intent called smalltalk.agent.boss. And in this case, you will have three different queries, which it will respond to who is your boss, who is the boss, who is your master. And it will provide only the same response uh, for either of these questions, which is the, my, my boss is the one who developed me. And then finally, I'll have one more intent called smalltalk.agent.beclever where I have two questions, be smarter, can you get smarter? And then two different responses. I'm certainly trying. I'm definitely working on it. Now, you need to remember that the way Dialogflow works is that when you have these multiple responses, it, can, it will choose one at random. It's not going to show all of these in one shot. It's going to select one of these responses at random and then it will uh, use that as the response. So just to give you a quick, uh, you know, like uh, insight into how I got this, I just took this uh, phrase from what is already defined in this intent. So you have the smalltalk.agent.acquaintance and you can see that one of the phrases here is who are you? And you'll also see that one of the responses is uh, I am a virtual agent. So this is what we're gonna do. So the way you do that is you go to any spreadsheet software. I'm going to use the Google Sheets. So I'm going to call it CSV to zip demo. That's going to be the name of my sheet. It doesn't matter what you call it, the name as long as you remember what it is. So now I'm going to tell you about the format. So here we are going to look at the basic four column format. And this will have four column names. You have to provide the column names. Uh, if you don't, then it's going to provide throw an error. So these are the four column names that you need to use intent ID, intent name, query and response. And it also matters that you use the correct case. So one way to do that would be to just take an example CSV file and keep the header rows as they are and just uh, fill out the rest, you know, delete the rest of the stuff and fill them out. Uh, but don't delete the header row so that that way you don't have to worry about accidentally making a uh, spelling mistake. Now the other thing that matters is that you should okay I, I'll actually go over this in the future so for now let's just let's just figure out how to get this into the format which is required. So I'm going to have an intent ID of one so what you have in this column must be a number which should be an integer specifically okay and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more soon. So the name of the intent is going to be smalltalk.agent.acquaintance. So let's paste this in here and just make this a little bit wider so we have more space. All right, so now the query that it is going to handle is who are you? And the response it is going to provide is I'm a virtual agent. All right, so this is the first intent the intent ID is one and the intent ID isn't actually used during the conversion. You can provide 
uh, any number but you have to make sure that for a given intent you use the same number and I will explain what that means in the next step. So here I am going to create another intent. So I am going to create a new intent ID. So that is number 2 and let us use the boring as the intent name. Now here is the thing what you have to do is because it has a single query you paste it like that which is uh, you might what you might expect but what you have to do after that is you have to paste the responses the three different responses in three different rows under the response column in your csv file so like that all right so then the other thing that you absolutely should remember is that as soon as you do that make sure that you mark both these with the number two because what this means is that these three rows number row number three row, row number four and row number five they all belong to the same intent and the way that you uh, represent or you know tell my app that these belong to the same intent is by making sure that they share the same intent id and if you forget to put the intent id into one of these uh, rows my app will actually complain and you will not even be able to do the conversion because as you might imagine if you don't have the intent id there is no way for my app to know which intent it should be adding this query and response information into right so now let us take a look at what will happen for the next intent so I am going to make sure that this is a new intent right and then this is a new name for the intent also the other thing is the intent name should be provided in the first uh, instance of a given intent ID. So here it should be in this row 1 and you can see that in this case where wherever it changed from 1 to 2 that row should have the intent name. Here it changed from 2 to 3 and that row has the intent name. And next what you will do is you will copy the query list and again as I said these should go into different rows but in this case the difference is that there are going to be multiple queries and just a single response. So we'll do that and do that and now the answer is going to be just my boss is the one who developed me. So you can see what has changed here there are multiple queries and they all lead to the same response and finally as I said do not forget to put these numbers here. Now we are going to move on to the intent number 4 and you have to just follow the same rules make sure that you put as the intent name in the first instance of the row uh, of that id rather and copy your two phrases into this and you will copy the responses over here and that's pretty much it and now you're good to go remember to change this or uh, add the number four into this so that's it so you have the format that you need and uh, as you know google actually auto saves everything in the background so you don't have to explicitly save save this uh, now you have this file ready what you will do at that point is you will go to this file and go to this download and you can see that it has this option to download as a comma separated values file so if i click on it you can see that it actually downloaded it into my downloads folder. So this is the format that you have to provide to make sure that the app that is my app is able to convert your CSV file into the proper agent zip file.